Hello, hello. This reading are for the Leos. The bonus read for the Leos, August 21st, 2022. I'm only putting the timestamp just to make, um, make it easier when people come across these. Um, but it, you're going to find this reading whenever um, you need to find it. It's a timeless reading. And that's just how these messages work. Some people are going to see this in three years and it's just going to hit them at the right time. This is a live reading, so I'm waiting for more people to come in before I begin. I will put a timestamp for all those who are watching after the live. There will be a timestamp, so feel free to click it. And so you can go right into the reading. But for right now, we will wait. Hello, hello, hello. We will wait until more people come and then I will start the reading. Leo's bonus read here. Got to find it. Hello, my Leos. Hello, 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 hello. Sorry, I, I meant to start this like 10, 15 minutes ago, but in Sagittarius' reading, I realized that a lot of, not a lot, but it was about eight or nine of these from this Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck was in this. It's okay. I mean, it's extra cards. It's better than not having enough of the right cards. So I was over here <laughs> sitting on the green couch, separating the decks to make sure they're all there. So yeah, hello, welcome for Sagitt for Sagitt for Leo's bonus reading. Hello, hello, hello. I just I wanna let me find the live feed here so I can keep up with the the comments. So I hope everyone's having a good weekend, enjoying yourself, drinking some wine, perhaps watching a movie, watching tarot, whatever it is. Hope you guys are having a good weekend, and happy birthday, Leo. We're coming to the end, but it's not over yet. You still have what two more days? 21st, 22nd, 20, two more days to live it up. It's your birthday season. Happy birthday, Leos. Happy birthday. Um, oh, a cross watcher is here. Yeah, so that's, I, I always say that at the beginning of the readings, so you may find yourself resonating as the main story and Leo would be the cross watcher. That's just how it kind of works when you're dealing with a sign or you are the sign. So yeah, hello, hello, hello. Nice to see everybody. Thank you so much for the Leos for watching and tuning in and being such a big part of this channel. I, I'm floored by you guys. I love, I love the Leos. I love my Leos to death. Um, it's like a love fest over here. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes and subscribes. You're a bonus read for a reason because you guys, you know, are, you guys really do show up for me. You treat me really, really good. And so it's my thank you back to you guys. And for all my new viewers, if you're feeling the vibe, please feel free to like and subscribe. Yeah. But, oh, thank you so much, Bebo. Thank you. Yeah. Me, I have a Leo Venus. I actually have all the signs in my chart. I have a Leo Venus and there was, a, there was Leo somewhere else down, further down. I'm a Virgo Sun, Sagittarius Moon, Leo Venus, Gemini Rising, Aquarius Midhaven. I honestly, I have all the signs. It's crazy. Um, yeah. So Leo, it's, it's that passionate fireside. Speaking of, let's just talk about the bottom of the deck here for a second. Now, like I this shuffled, I shuffled this first. I always shuffle the clarifying decks first. I got an empress, which is good. You know, that Libra, Taurus energy, it's, it's, it's expansion. It's moving on. It's feeling good about oneself. It's also not chasing, chasing people. It's not chasing shit except your dreams, you know, and your goals. But then, like I said, in Sagittarian's reading, I realized that I have two Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck and I was pulling multiples out. So I went over here to the green couch and started, you know, separating. So when I shuffled, I, you know, mix it all back up. I got the devil again. Now, before I separated the deck, you did have a devil on the bottom of your deck. Now, come on, that's crazy. So I go over there, put all the cards in order, come back. I did this huge shuffle, shuffle, and there's the devil again. So it doesn't want to leave your reading. We'll find out why. We have a devil and an empress reverse. What's below it? Well, it's you, sun reverse. And see, this could be a next lover, but this could just be like, devil is a very, it could be a very toxic energy that you could be related to this person. You could work for this person. It's somebody in your energy field that can be very, very, it could be just a very heavy energy. The reason why I say that is the sun reverse. That could, it's just somebody that kind of zaps your energy, takes your energy. And yeah, I feel like this empress and this five of pentacles reverse and a four, it feels already like two energies. It's like somebody's trying to keep you from leaving a situation. Yeah. So I, you know, I do whatever, a lot of times, especially this is an extended read, there'll probably be, it's definitely love and money. Usually 
I usually can pull both in a reading. Even Sag just had a bit of a money read. There was love in there with these extended. So um, I can tell you right now, it's probably some type of love, but I do feel like somebody's trying to keep somebody else from moving on and leaving them behind. I feel like they don't want to be left behind. Whatever this devil, it's like they're, but it's a Leo read. What, what's, you know, you guys always have something like this in your read, seems like. All right, let's get going. So after the Leo read, um, 15, 20 minutes after, I'm going to start the Taurus. Taurus is the third bonus for the mother, last one of the day. All right, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, I can't even speak. I'm already tired. One second. I need a drink. I need, I need more than tea, but we'll, we'll stick with tea right now. Okay, let's see what's going on. I do feel like I'm getting a, a need where a Leo wants to pull away and somebody's trying to keep them. Now you could be dealing with a Leo and you could be trying to leave a Leo and Leo's trying to keep you. That's, it's energy. It's just, if that's just how energy, you can't really define it to this sign and to this side. And that's why people get so hung up on, okay, I can only read my sun and moon. And it's, there's so many reasons why you can adopt the energy, like you can, you can get into the Aquarian there. It could be the signs of the month. You could have it in your birth chart. The people around you affect your mood. You can just, you know, so always go by the titles rather than just, you know, a certain sign, because you might be really missing a, a lot of messages that could, um, really help you help you guys out. All right, let's get into this. Summer rising Venus, Leo. If you are a Leo, know a Leo, feel like being a Leo. Well, Leos, I'm so glad you're here, but you could be a Leo that resonates. You can be dealing with the Leo cross watchers. That's why I say that. And you could resonate as the main story. And Leo in this reading could be the cross watcher. So stay open to the messages. And let's see what happens. All right, general energy for the Leos. Collect the messages for the Leos. The collective messages. I just saw a butterfly. Transformational. I love that. Collect the messages for the Leos. Collect the messages for the Leos. It is Ace of Cups. Look at that. Right off. You got an Ace upright. Look at that. Love. New love. Someone that's making you feel really good. You're making you feel really good. I like that. I like it. I like it. Transformational love. And I said I just saw a butterfly. And it was a white butterfly. And look at that. Gosh, I scare myself sometimes. All right. What's influencing the Ace of Cups? What's influencing the Ace of Cups? What's influencing the Ace of Cups for the Leos? What's influencing the Ace of Cups? What's influencing it? Ten of Swords reverse. Is this the other energy? I don't know. It is a um, it is Gemini energy, but Ten of Swords reverse is not letting something go. That's completely opposite. A Ten of Swords upright is a good card upright because you're you're accepting. A change has to happen and you're ready for that ace of swords ten of swords reverse could be in your head it could be also over analyzation about this new relationship too ten of swords could be just having old stories replay in your head and old hurt and trauma what's the reason for the reading what's the reason for the reading for the leos what's the reason for the reading what's the reason for the reading the two of swords libra and energy in your head libra in so i feel maybe it's a decision about this ace of cups or are you waiting out for a decision to be made about you two of swords the uh, see it's weird because two of swords twos and tarot all the twos are talking about duality or decisions being made but really the two of swords is a peaceful time it's an in-between card so it's kind of like yeah a decision has to be made but there's really no hurry i mean she's pretty at peace with herself she's found herself or he it's just a few i think it's a female maybe anyway it doesn't matter it's 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 an in-between card it's neither in the it's you know it may be in between relationships in between jobs but it's being at, at peace with oneself ace of cups could be healing oneself well who is this ten of swords reverse though is the question what is that about what's in the past for the leos what's in the past for the leos what's in the past for the leos i feel like over analyzation possibly about whatever this is what's in the past the three of pentacles an offer new job opportunity some of you this could honestly for some of you it could be resonating as in needing your in between jobs and here comes a new opportunity and you don't know if you are ready to start something new because where you are right now is 
pretty good and you could be in your head about this. I, I'm, t but I'm telling you, look at this, Six of Cups and a Two of Cups reverse. It's like right away I'm feeling new love and, and old because even that devil energy was pretty heavy where someone's trying to keep you maybe from moving on with someone new. Because then below that we had a Four of Swords reverse. Somebody's, I'm definitely feeling a stress, somebody who deals with anxiety or who creates anxiety in someone's life. And maybe they're in anxiety because the Leo's trying to move on. What's on Leo's mind? What's on the Leo's mind? There it is. Judgment. Look at that. Judgment reverse. Yeah, Emperor reverse. I Whoever this tennis reverses, it's related to an Emperor reverse. I'm definitely getting a money read here too. Um, Emperor reverse though, like going to a relationship, it, I honestly feel this isn't you. I don't think that Emperor Reverse is you. I feel like somebody's creating havoc in your life. A Ten of Swords Reverse, for instance, is someone you can't just get rid of. Maybe you have kids with this person. Maybe they owe you money. You know, you don't want to deal with them, but you have to deal with them. And maybe you are in something new or you're about to be, and you're in a, this level of peace. Ace of Cups is wanting to, it's like ready to fall into that love again. And this Emperor Reverse, I, I just feel like they... It, it's just something you have to deal with. I don't know. Um, also, if it's a money, I'm getting with a job. I still feel like there's like a new opportunity coming. And you're in your head about it. You don't know if to take it because, you know, that might take you from if you're, let's say, you have small kids and you don't know if you're ready for that to leave them. Um, it's, it's something about in your head about taking a new job. Or maybe that means it's coming. And what is getting that to? Okay, what's in the near future? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? What is in the near future? Yeah, Ace of Cups in the center, man. That's new. But you got this. And maybe that's, honestly, if this isn't a past person irritating the shit out of you, Emperor Reverse is the lack of feeling you're ready for something. Two of Swords, where you are, it's like, do I want a chance going into a Five of Pentacles or have bullshittery come into my life because I'm pretty good where I am. You have an opportunity here, Emperor Reverse feeling unable to make a decision about it possibly, you know? It, it's a it's a card of feeling powerless. It can. All right, what's in the near future? What's in the near future for the Leos? Five of Cups Reverse, I do like that. But it still doesn't tell me if you're gonna take this up. Five of Cups Reverse, Two of Swords, I feel like I'm speaking to a Leo that's not like, hung up on someone. I don't think you're, um, I don't think you're really living in the past. I think you're just feeling you right now. You're probably looking at your options. And you know what it kind of feels like, honestly, is um, it's like the one thing you want is coming in. And now that it's coming in, you don't know what to do with it. If this is about a job or if this is a relationship, some of you, this could actually be both. Um, it, it, you know, a change has to happen. And this is where you are now. And you're like, I, yeah, I thought I wanted it, but I, you know, it, it's like fear because there's a change happening here. All right. How do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? Birthday. Happy birthday. Birthday season. Partying it up. All right. I hope it was a good birthday season so far for you guys. All right. How do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? Six of Wands reverse. So if this is, if the, I honestly, it doesn't matter if it's a job or a relationship, the confidence level needs to, I think your confidence took took a hit in a previous uh, relate, a situation. If you, let's say you got let go of a job or you haven't been working for a while, or even if you are working, there's, there's a new opportunity coming in that you just don't know if you can, you know, you're like, I don't know if it's, if, Six of Wands reverse, it's a lack, it's fear. It's a lack of self-belief. Emperor reverse is a lack of self-belief. Emotionally, I think Leo's doing really well, honestly. And I feel like you crave a Ten of Pentacles in your life. You crave that stability. You don't want to have to worry about money or you don't have to worry about a relationship, what they're doing. But here it comes in and then you don't want to actually, it's kind of like you don't know if you want to take a chance on it either. Knowing what it can give you, but... The idea of ever going back to a five of pentacles. Honestly, I think this is where you are. The moon and the queen of swords. It's like you're almost looking for, for a reason to not engage or you're looking for a flaw 
to prove, you know, to, to keep your distance. Queen of Swords is no Queen of Wands on her best day and her bullshit meter is on. It's like, if this is a love opportunity, there is somebody like totally seeing what they can find out about this person. And the moon is the unknown. I just feel like you've healed from something. You are in this in-between period. It's not a bad feeling, but here comes something new and you're just like, so are you a serial killer? Wait a minute, they're saying they're too nice. It's kind of like you're almost, it's almost looking for a fault or looking for something to go wrong. So you don't have to get out of this two of swords. Yep, seven of pentacles is should I stay or should I go? Should I take this offer or should I cancel it? Anyway, could honestly be if it's a relationship, it might have something to do with what an old relationship did to you because the ten of swords reverses things living in your head. It's, it's, it's old pain that won't, you, it's, it's hard to let go of because somebody could have, Took, took your confidence, you know? If you were let go of a job, if you were cheated on, if, if, if you fell in love with somebody and then you had to heal from it, there's just a lot of confidence that needs to be worked on. And it can even go way back relationship. This can go way back to even parental, you know? Anyway, let's see what energy coming in to influence this. Energy coming in to influence this for the Leos. Energy coming in to influence this for the Leos. Energy coming into the influences. And the Eight of Pentacles. It's going in your favor, but this is exactly what I was feeling. This and this. This and this. You have something, Leo, that somebody wants. That's, the, that's really what this reading is about. Is it love? Is it work? I don't know. That's how, up to you guys, but you have something that somebody wants to work on. They see your value when maybe you're so used to people not seeing your value. Maybe you're so used to having to explain yourself a thousand times why you're a good bet. Maybe you're so used to people disappointing you that somebody comes along and sees what you offer here when you're so used to being rejected for that. And you're just like, no, nope, it's gotta be a psychopath. It's gotta be a psychopath. It's gotta be, so, it, they don't know. They, I don't think they really see it. And I, you know, in the two of swords upright, she's got her blindfold on. I don't think you wanna look at this offer because I, I don't think you're at a five of pentacles now, but you sure in the hell don't wanna go back there. You're healed from it. You don't wanna go back there, but you know in your heart of hearts and in, 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 your, in your intuition that you're gonna have that 10 of pentacles, but you gotta take a chance, right? And the idea of putting yourself in a new relationship and being rejected is, is scary with the Emperor reverse and a Six of Wands reverse. If this is about um, taking a new job and you in, you know, somebody sees that you can handle it, you're probably thinking, well, what if, what if I can't? You know, I don't know. It's just a fear. It feels like a fear of taking a new opportunity. Eight of Pentacles coming in is now we're going from this five to an eight. Our money is going up. We're out of this cocoon. We have this transformational process at hand. Things are starting to work in our life. And some of you are maybe even afraid of that because things are going well, you know? I think a lot of people might hold themselves back because it's not because they don't want something. It's because they, they're afraid that if they, they allow themselves to have it and then they're gonna lose it and then they're gonna have to heal from it, a five of pentacles. All right, what's in the Leo's emotions? What are in the Leo's emotions? What are in Leo's emotions? What are in the Leo's emotions? Feels fear. It's not like you, Leo. You're a six of ones upright. Why are we reverse here? What are in Leo's emotions? Yeah, King of Pentacles reverse. Something you really, I think it's something's coming in that will really up the game. And because it ups the game, I think it scares you because you're going to, you, you know, you kind of want it. Ten of wands reverse and a hangman reverse. And it means coming out of wherever you are. It means if you're in a healing process, it's coming out of the healing process. Hangman reverse. Ten of wands reverse. I feel like something's coming in to really lighten your load. And I just think somebody's really in their head. Remember, we have a ten of swords reverse over this new opportunity. That's really, I think you're already emotionally invested in it. King of Pentacles reverse in your emotions. I feel we have an Emperor reverse, a King of Pentacles reverse, and a Six of Wands reverse, and a Ten of Swords reverse. This is all about a Leo right now. This is about their fear of making someone else happy. Or what if they reject me? I didn't, you don't, the only way to lose in this is not even join the game. All right, what's in the outcome? 
I just, it's weird because I'm getting love, but I'm getting money. Why is that? And it could be separate. It could definitely be separate readings. But I think for some of you, I think by taking one, the confidence goes up and it's going to bring the other side of your life up too. And so, yeah, I, th I, I there's a huge change coming in and I think it's, it's just, I think you're holding on to an old story here that you're the one. It, it's got to be difficult for anything to be good or it's got to be a challenge. Whatever this tower is, you're holding on to an old, it's like an old thought process. Something that happened to you in, in the past, I, it's linked to this Ten of Swords reverse. All right, what's in the outcome here? What's in the outcome for the Leos? What's in the outcome? A new opportunity, and I think it's because it's new and it makes you feel good. It also scares the shit out of you. What is the outcome for the Leos? I'm not getting like, we have that devil, and maybe the devil, remember the devil at the bottom of the deck? I feel like that's just you. I feel, not that you're the devil, but I feel like whoever hurt you the way they did, it's really hard to get over what they said or what they did or how they left you. And this can go back to parent, you know, being a, from your, your childhood to a series of relationships that disappointed you. And it's so hard to believe in something good because every time maybe you allowed yourself to believe in it, you lost it. And here it comes again. And I just don't think, I think you're trying to not want it. You don't want to look at it. You don't want to want it because if you do and allow yourself and then it gets pulled away from you, you just don't want to go through that again. Okay, what is the outcome for the Leos here? But remember, Empress is expansion. There's a huge change coming in for you to really level up, for you to leave this story behind of who did what. Okay, what's the outcome? Sorry. Look at that shit. King of Pentacles upright, and there you are. Somebody needs to take this opportunity. Right below is the male King of Pentacles reverse. We have a female king of pentacles upright. And the way I'm feeling this is, is your masculine energy is taking a hit. Your feminine energy wants something. The feminine energy is the ace of cups. The masculine is an ace of pentacles. The, somebody gave you something in your life and took it away and made you feel bad and then made you feel guilty for wanting it. And then you had to apologize and then you had to chase it and da, 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 da. New love coming in it makes you feel good. A new job. I'm telling you, somebody's got, and I, I would almost bet it's going to be for a lot of you, it's both because they're linked. Your masculine energy is taking a hit to, to the point where you're afraid to put yourself out there. And I feel like if this is a new love, it's going to up your money. If this is money, it's going to up your love because whatever this is, it's going to flip this King of Pentacles in your emotions. It's a reverse. You don't feel like I hate the word. I don't want to say worthless because that's so bad. But somebody had, let's just say you had parents that didn't give you the love that you really deserved to have, like the unconditional. And then you could have had a hard time in your childhood. And then you met relationships who left you. And it became this story where you stopped even thinking something good's going to come your way. And that's the masculine energy right here with this King of Pentacles reverse. And all along, he's standing, he, this, he feels small inside, but he's standing on so much work. And how this happens when I see this is in, I feel like there's certain people that have to go through a shitload of challenges and there's some people that just seem like to skate by in life. And why is that? Because the more challenges you have, the more, the more you can actually obtain. You have to go through all of these because when you get what you get, you're never going to lose it. When you get that self-confidence, you're never going to lose it. This is a, who I'm reading for. When that King of Pentacles flips, everything is off the table everything everything because a ten of pentacles it wouldn't it just wouldn't be a ten of pentacles you would be 10 you know when the devil energy at the very beginning it's times 10 that's how i see it so a devil energy is actually really good when it comes to um money and business because you're never gonna have a plan b so we don't need a plan b because plan a is gonna freaking work and if i gotta work all night i see it in my mind i taste it and it's going to be a creation you know, it's somebody who's tenacious and will not give up. Once you find that confidence and you start believing in you, you're never going to lose that again. And that is what's going to flip these cards. That's the transformation going on here. Is it money? Yes. But what's really coming in is a transformational process around your money, the way you look at money. Some of you created a standard so low 
that you couldn't go on even underneath it is so low, you know? And so you, you stop trying, you stop fighting for your life. This is all about some serious money. And like I said, some of you, a love is gonna trigger this. Somebody's gonna come in and see, where's that five of pentacles? I shuffled this. Somebody's gonna come in and see something that everybody else ignored and, you know, and say, why are you hiding that? You know, who are you? And you're like, well, they didn't appreciate it. And like, okay, but why are you hiding that? Why are you hiding these gifts? Why are you hiding yourself? Why are you trying to be someone you're not? Because who you are is needed right now. That's really what I'm getting. That is why we have this Empress, Leo. That's why we have the Empress out here. Because your life's about to change in, in so many directions you won't even see coming. But it's going to scare you because this is how you're used to living. Two of Swords, two of Empress. That's a big energy. You, you know, you better hold on. Okay, Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords reverse for the Leos. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords reverse. Ace of Cups and the Ten of Swords reverse. And honestly, if this is about somebody who's already, I, I'm, I just got this in my head. For some of you Leos that are making good money at work, it's time to up your game. Two of Swords says there's, there's a leveling off that's happened. And then the opportunity, once again, is going to, to do it. But it, it's, it's fear of being like, well, what if I take this chance and then lose what I already have? Either way, it's a new opportunity and it's really going to level somebody up. But they have to believe in themselves. They have to. Pardon me for these messages. All right. Ace of Cups and a Ten of Swords reverse for the Leos. Ace of Cups and a Ten of Swords reverse for the Leos. What is this? Ace of Cups reverse. For the leos okay that's too many i'm not even gonna look all right ace of cups and the ten of swords reverse oh look at this i can't even it's like no we don't need to clarify the story is good as is all right what is going on here one more time let's try this again ace of cups reverse and the ten of swords reverse ace of cups upright in the ten of, nice try leo nice try i see what you did there you're just like, I don't, I, I, I don't want to, I'm going to make that reverse and I'm going to make that one up, right? All right. Ace of cups and a 10 of swords reverse. Ace of cups and the 10 of swords reverse for Leo's. What is this? Ace of cups and the 10 of swords reverse. Two of cups. Get out of town. True love. Could it be a new love relationship? Some of you, that's what this is about. But even if it's love, it's going to up your money. You know why? Because you're, somebody's seeing something in you that you thought, like you're kind of feeling like what is wrong with me it's like is am I, am I wearing like a cloak where people can't see and they're just you know you're just so used to dealing maybe with selfish people or narcissistic energies and they're about themselves and you got somebody who just sees you for who you and likes you and then you're just like I don't know it just kind of throws you off but anyway so this two of cups I feel like you got somebody coming in that believes in you and because they believe in you Leo I think you're going to start to believe in you too However it works, it doesn't even matter. You got to get that King of Pentacles in your emotions upright. That's you right there. Page of Pentacles reverse and a Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's like our, our confidence took a hit because something was taken from us that we, our stability. I mean, that's stability right here. And here's a new opportunity. Of, you know, with this pay, this um, pay, star, I keep saying page, page of Swords and the star look very similar in this deck. So a new opportunity has you reaching for something out of your comfort zone. Actually, it's ironic because I was just reading that I can't remember who it was. It's, it's, I don't know if it's an astrologer or whatever, but they're saying Virgo season this year is so important because it's all about transformational energy. And you see that here, but it's, it's about releasing the old paradigms and the old stories because a new groundwork has to be laid because of what's coming in. I have said this for the Leos. I feel like Virgo season is going to be really good for you guys. You know, I know your birthday season's coming to an end and that is tragic. I know mine's about to begin. <laughs> I know it's tragic, but it's good for this reason, because it's, there's something coming in within Virgo season for you to really look at your, where you are in life. And I think when you do that, you're going to realize Page of Pentacles reverse can be complete boredom in what you're already doing. It's a need to get that spark back. Um, it's, it's, you're going to really look at it and say, no, 
I don't want to, I don't want this anymore. I do want something more. And I think that's the fire that even though it's King of Pentacles, I feel like there's fire involved here to get you, to get you reaching for something more. All right. Tell me about the two of swords reason for the reading. Tell me about the two of swords reason for the reading. Tell me about the two of swords reason for the reading. Libra and energy, two of swords. Yep. To three of swords, but it's see, this is a good three of swords. In this deck, there's two ten of swords, there's two three of swords. This three of swords isn't the pain kind. This is the changing kind. I feel the pain's already done. I think I think that ten of swords reversed on the table is holding on to what somebody's done to you. They can't hurt you anymore. You're safe. Um, but this is about learning from the pain. See how the 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 three of swords aren't now affecting his heart. They're not hurting his heart. They're book they're booking. They're piercing the book of knowledge. And that's why you got letters flying around and he's learning from this. So A, he doesn't have to go through this again, but realizing that he's not allowing this pain to, to hold him back any further. And so this is all about letting the past go. So you can get this three of swords is honestly going to probably create that ten of swords to be upright. The ten of swords has to be upright for it to leave our life. The reverse means we're holding on to an old story, old hurt. Every time, you know, an, an ace of cups tells me it's something new coming into your life that you, it's going to emotionally and you're going to be invested in it. You're going to want to believe in it. But with the last time you believed in something, it failed you. And you're going to be in your head about it. All right, what's this three of pentacles in the past? What's the three of pentacles in the past for the Leos? Capricorn. Three of pentacles in the past. Three of pentacles in the past. Three of pentacles in the past. And the full reverse. Yeah. This could be things that started and then dropped. Full reverse fear. Honestly, let me let's get in deeper here. Let's get in from our superficial relationship stuff. Let's get into the Leos. If you are a Leo, whenever I see this card, I think a masterpiece, the state of pentacles, the energy coming in you don't see coming. You could be a Leo that has started things and stopped things, started things and stopped things. You started, like every time you had a passion for something, it kind of like started to, to wind down and then you, you left it. And this feels like dream quality. This, not dream quality, but star quality. This is wish fulfillment. This is a purposeful life. Whatever this was, I feel like maybe in the past, way in the past, you started, you started something. You had a desire to be famous. You had a desire to be an artist. You had a desire to be a painter. You had a desire to be a writer. You had a desire to have a family. You had a desire to run a company, start a business, and then stopped it. You know why you stopped it? Full reverse, emperor reverse, king six of wands reverse. I don't know. It's, 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 is it lack of self-belief or did you stop believing it in your own head? Because you have to believe it in your mind to achieve it. You have to see it. You already have to feel the energy before you actually get the money. You know, the people who get the money, they already feel wealthy, even if they have like two pennies in their pocket. Um, the same thing with love, healthy relationships, things like that. I'm kind of feeling when you look at this card with the three of pentacles, see how she's trying to get people's attention and the birds are looking elsewhere. I think there was something you were really emotionally invested in in the past and people just didn't give you an, the a time of day. It's like they didn't believe in you. There wasn't enough self-belief. So guess what Leo did? It's Leo started to believe in with them and they put their dreams on the shelf, right? Full reverse. Stop telling your dreams to the wrong people. Nine of cups. Oh, there's the star again and the queen of cups. Look at this. And the justice card. You have so many cards about a new beginning, but it's time to believe in yourself. Don't look for validation in your mom. Don't look for validation in your friends. Don't look for validation elsewhere. You have to go within to find this, whatever this is. This three of pentacles is still at play on the table. This is still trying to be a 10. It's still waiting for you to revisit it. Because somebody didn't believe in you, did you stop believing in yourself? Because somebody didn't see your dreams, did you stop dreaming those dreams? It's time to start dreaming those dreams and putting action to it. That's where the devil energy is coming into play. It's a good devil energy because it needs, you need to get addicted to your own energy. You need to get addicted to having whatever it is you once saw that you could have. And you believe that somebody, when they told you, you couldn't. All right, what's this emperor reverse on your mind? Okay. It flew out for us, Knight of Cups. 
And I'm telling you, new relationship all over the place. There, there's money and love highly connected in this reading. And I do feel like if, if one comes in, it's the other coming in too. Knight of Cups is po positive affirmations. And I feel like it's not from you. I, I really think it's somebody else. If this isn't a new lover, which it's hard to believe it's not, with an Ace of Cups and a Two of Cups and a Knight of Cups, feels like new. I think somebody sees you. You, Leo, not who you, you feel like you should be. You. They see your potential and they, they want you to do better and to do more. And I think th they're lending you their strength and that's enough, I think, for you to start to believe in yourself because boom, we have a five of cups reverse in the near future. I love that. Five of cups reverse in the near future. What's the five of cups? Scorpio energy, five of cups, game changing. This is game changing because whatever this three is, it's been waiting for, for all this time for you to, to create a 10 with it. It hasn't left you. I think people you've relied on left you, but this your dreams haven't left you. Your higher self is still there. Already have accomplished these dreams. They're just waiting for you to, to remember them. What's this Five of Cups reverse? And the Queen of Wands. I love that. You know how you become the King of Wands, Leo? Because of her. This is her. This is you. This could be somebody else because you are the King and we have the Queen and we have the true pair, your true soulmates coming in that, you know, is saying, hey, soulmate, why have you been taking so long at this rest stop? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I actually feel like this is you finding that fire that you long, long thought was gone. Opportunities. Thought you missed the boat on those dreams, didn't you? you? Since you didn't do it at 18, at 21, your life's all washed up. You know, some people, I think because it, it's all about a perspective, no matter where you are at your age, you feel like you missed an opportunity to change it. Queen of Wands, this is you remembering who you are and how, how do you become the King of Wands? How does Leo become the King? Because of the Queen. How does the King of Pentacles become a King of Pentacles? Still because of the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords, the Queens really make it all happen in tarot. They are, they're the workers. They're, you know, and I say this, oh, well, you did, you do have an Empress. The Empress was at the bottom of the deck there. But the Empress is all four Queens up or all four Queens down. And it has, it's, it's, it, it's the aspects of the Empress. So when you have, and this is my own little thing, how I see it, let me run through this. I haven't done this in a while, so I hope I'm not too rusty. But the first thing you have to have is a Queen of Swords. You have to have the Queen of Swords out. That's, that's your boundaries. That's deserving respect, teaching people how to respect you. But it's also getting really clear on your goals, right? So when you have that, your Queen of Cups feels safe. The masculine energy, even though they're queens, I feel like the Queen of Swords is a bit masculine. Then your Queen of Cups can come out and say, oh yeah, that's right. I remember when I wanted to be do this or I wanted to have this or wanted to go there. And the Queen of Cups starts dreaming again. Well, you know who listens to those dreams? The Queen of Wands over here. The Queen of Wands is like, hey bitches, I, I am hearing you. I think I know where this is going. I know so-and-so, let's open that business. That's how this works, right? The Queen of Wands is like, this is a chick that will figure shit out, right? She, she is like, there's no plan B. We are all plan A. And then guess who comes out? Your queen of pentacles, because now we got the money flowing in. Now we're in a position to help really people and we're in a better place. We're no longer giving people what we don't have to give. We have an abundance. That is how, why it's an empress energy. You have to have all four queens up. You've had, I think, honestly, your queen of swords down masculine energy and therefore your money's down therefore the self-confidence is down because you're allowed to believe something that wasn't true about yourself a long time ago all right sorry i got sidetracked i had to say that anyway queen of wands coming in that's you getting your fire back getting your confidence back how you see yourself right now is a six of wands reverse six of wands reverse how leo see themselves let's see the six of wands reverse leo card reverse and the six of cups upright you know what that tells me? It feels like a family. This feels like a family dynamic. I just said that with the Ten of Swords reverse right here. I feel like you have some old shit running in your head. Does somebody not think you're thin enough? Does somebody not think you're young enough or attractive enough or smart enough or rich enough or poor enough or tall enough, whatever it is? Look what's living. Six, why is your confidence down? Because something's still in your head and it feels really family. The Six of Cups. I'm not feeling love really, but I feel like why Leo's confidence down clarifying six of cups because it's still alive and upright in one's head here. Okay, but look at the chariot moving on from that and the page of swords. I love this. 
big time energy coming in. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles coming in to influence this read. Tell me about this Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Virgo season's a game changer. I'm telling you for a lot of the signs, game changer. Ironically, I have not seen it in the Virgos yet, but <laughs> I think Virgos are Virgos are too worried trying to make it so good they're going to not appreciate it, you know, where they're so worried about planning it that they're going to miss the whole whole thing. All right, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. For the fire signs, though, I th think Virgo season's going to be really good for you guys. It's about getting clear. It's about organizing. It's about putting yourself first. It's enough with trying to make people happy that can't be happy because it comes at your expense. It always, it seems like. All right, Eight of Pentacles, energy coming in to influence this. Eight of Pentacles, energy coming in to influence this. Yep, the Magician Reverse. That Magician and the Emperor Reverse, it feels very, it, it, they both can speak of being, feeling powerless, feeling got rejected one too many times. Um, not sure if you can believe in this. I'm telling you, this is either a new love or a strong friendship. It's definitely a soulmate connection. No doubt about that. It's a soulmate connection in the sense that some soul is looking at you and saying, I thought you would be way further ahead than George up here. What are you still doing back here, Leo? And Leo's are like, I don't know. I just, I just don't know if I have what it takes. And this person's like, fish slaps you awake. They're here to get you back on track. It's going to be a new love. It's going to be a new friendship. It's a new opportunity. And you are going to be scared to take it. You know why? Because you know you want it. You know you really, really want it. Magician reverses fear. Eight of Pentacles says you could be fearful all you want. A magician is on the table now. Now we raise the game because a magician is here. And it doesn't matter if it's reverse or not. It doesn't matter. What this is telling me is it doesn't matter if you don't see it. Everybody else sees it. It doesn't matter if you feel like you missed it. God says you haven't missed shit. My guy cusses, sorry. So yeah, so with this magician is you're still a major manifester. It doesn't mean you're not because you choose not to see it. It's kind of like, it's kind of like tarot, you know, where people are like, I don't like reversals. Well, that's great to live in a world of make-believe where you can believe if I make all these cards upright, somehow your life is going to figure itself out. But in the real world, we have to solve our problems, right? The reversals let us know the problem so we can find the solutions. You know, it's, it's nice to make believe that things aren't real, but we have to handle it. We have to see it. We have to take the blindfold off to see what the issue is, to solve the issue so you can get away from the issue and start expanding. Major manifester, but it was reverse. And I feel like that is where the change is, realizing you don't want to waste any more time. You're tired of being tired. You're tired of people not believing in you, and you're tired of wanting their approval, you know? All right. King of Pentacles reverse in your emotions, Leo. King of Pentacles reverse in your emotions. Yeah, I think, honestly, I think they do it out of fear because I've seen it and I, I've seen people say, you know, they'll, they'll tell you, well, I don't like reversals. I like, I like your readings, but you have reversals. I've actually had people say, I like your readings, but I don't like brown desk. I actually have, somebody did say that. Um, I like your readings, but I don't like reversals, so I can't watch. Well, in my world, I don't like having to gain weight if I eat cake at night. I don't like having to do such low carb, but you know, shit happens. You know, there's things you have to do. So for me, I will always have reversals. I really think readers do that because they're afraid they're trying to win, but you're not, you're not helping people. You're not helping people. You're, you're trying to soothe them and tell them everything is going to be fine. You don't have to do anything. You're doing everything just right. Not true. There's fear here that needs to be looked at because somebody didn't believe in you. And I'm here and I feel like I'm not the love reader. I feel like I'm the reader that sits there and tells you, you know what, screw these effing people. And yeah, I cuss and people don't like that either. So I'm like, screw these people. You need to believe in you because you not believe in you is co costing you a lot of money and it's costing you the love of your life. And did you even make people happy at this point? Did you make anybody happy by not believing in yourself and letting the narcissist win? I say, prove them wrong. It's time to prove them wrong. And the magician is here. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not real. All right, King of Pentacles reversing your emotions, Leo. Sorry, I'm going to be coming a TED Talk reading. Eight of Swords. I love how they make this look like the devil card. 
it's 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 in your head there's a lot of in your head energy eight of swords king of pentacles reverse and it's about money so let's just say or status or security let's say this is a new love coming in maybe you feel like you'll ruin their life or maybe you need more money to impress them you can't take them out like this whoever is coming into your life leo doesn't care about that you it's just too bad that you surrounded yourself with so many people who did care about that you, you surrounded yourself with darkness and expected some light and it, you know and now you got somebody who's trying to bring you out of that darkness and you're comfortable there this i just feel like whoever you are somebody sees it and they want it like that and i feel like you're having a hard time believing that and that's why we have some stuck energy going on hangman and this, it, it antenna wands reverse something is highly hooked to your to your money i feel like i'm reading for a leo that has like like secret you have like secret hobbies or secret gifts or you know, there's something that you can do well you put that on the shelf you put kind of love on the shelf and somebody sees it and you start bringing this back and that's where the 10 comes from i don't think this person's coming in with 10 and saying here leo here's money you don't have to do anything you're not going to ever hear me say that ed mcmahon does not show up at your door with a million dollars because you're so adorable that's just not how it happens king of pentacles in the outcome Taurus energy, King of Pentacles. And let's just say, if I said, whoever this reading's for, what if I say, by Taurus season, your life could be this? Would you believe me? Do you believe that's true? Do you believe that you can, your life can be completely different by May or, you know, when Taurus season <laughs> happens? <laughs> I'm not an astrologer over here. I butcher dates. I don't even know what date it is. You guys know, you can look up Taurus season, whatever Taurus seasons is. But this is a Taurus card, King of Pentacles. Could, if I told you your life would be this by Taurus season, would you believe me? It's funny how if I told you your life is going to be like this or your life is going to be like this, who, what, which story would you believe easier? Would it be this because you're used to it or would it be this? People gravitate to what they know and unfortunately they know negativity or they know strife or they know, you know, conflict and fighting and, you know, they don't, the things that can change a life is really where the belief needs to be. You don't need any more negativity in this world. You don't need to manifest negativity. We have enough of it. What you need to manifest is yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to say, no, I'm not just raising my standards. I don't want standards. I don't want limits. I don't want to be told what I can only be, or, you know, that's the change here. And that's what gets you out of your head. You know what gets you out of your head? Your fire energy, your action. Stop thinking, overthinking it, and get into your wands. Ooh, that sounded naughty. Say, Stacy, it's not nighttime yet. It's not time for terror after dark. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to let that one slip. All right, King of Pentacles. Sorry, this is really TED talky, Leo. I apologize. It's very preachy, but it is Sunday, so it's a perfect, perfect day for it. All right, King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Taurus energy. Hierophant, look at that. I'm telling you, Taurus season is going to be very different for you guys. When I pulled this, this is what I was noticing. Some of you had dreams. See this flower? This is you telling people your dreams. This is you saying, I want to be a famous so-and-so, or I want to write, I want to be a journalist, I want to move. And somebody said, Leo, that's not you. Are you crazy? I want to be an NFL player. And you're and they're like, Leo, you're only like 5'11". You know, somebody told you you can't and you believe them and you park that dream in the garage for a long time. But look what happens. This flower, now whatever you, you have these dreams, look how, look how this works. You have a pink flower over here. Now, I feel like you have another energy coming in to actually bring this out. It's not the same because we have a pink flower, right? I feel like that's an immature dream. Now that we're going to get clarity, we're going to be mature about it. Look what that pink flower does. Now that you invest in yourself, that one flower turns into abundance. It turns into gold. So the pink to me is something like young and nurturing. That's a page. Or a, it's funny because the page of pentacles, it's the six of wands, but the page of pentacles looks just like this, you know, with the pink flower. This is a mature kind of dream. This is saying, I know that it's, there's no right time to begin. There's no right amount of knowledge or money to start living a life that I need to live. I just have to start applying my energy towards it. 
this is huge. Look at this. Hierophant to uh, King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, by Taurus energy, there's going to be a huge difference. But you have to get upright. You have to believe in yourself. The reason why this is reverse is a lack of self-belief. No, nobody, nobody is keeping you here. Nobody. They'll, it's So they didn't see your dream. That's why they have their life. That's why they probably have gone through five marriages and they should not be giving you relationship advice. And as somebody who can't make money shouldn't be giving you business advice. And somebody who's never been in a, a recording artist shouldn't give you music advice. You see what I'm going with this? Look towards the people who've already done it, not for the people who can't do. You don't look back and take advice or you're gonna be back with them, keeping them company. All right, and if you don't have people in your life, go to YouTube, go online, go look at where you wanna be and surround yourself with that energy and soon you will, your, your brain is powerful. It will find a way to make that happen. All right, what is this? Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. What is this? What is this? Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. This is mastery, guys. This is mastery. Hierophant is mastery. I do feel like somebody's coming in that but we're talking like now go five years this is mastery yeah why why did you have so many challenges because there's so much more to gain have you i mean look at how many people born into money and they're like i mean i i can't <laughs> i don't want to get down that bad. but you know what i'm you can i bet you can name people born into money and look where their life became the most successful people weren't born into money the things that we use came from the poorest people if you're doing from the computers to the phones to the inventions to the cars, these came from people's imaginations first because they believed in themselves. Do you think whoever created, I'm like, I'm, I'm in intuition, I'm not in thinking, so don't be quoting me and fact checking me. But whoever created airplanes, I wanna say Wright Brothers, but I, it may not have been, you know how many people probably told them they're insane? Putting something that heavy is gonna fly in the air? Or somebody who created cars are just like, what's wrong with walking? What's wrong with horses? They had a dream, they had a vision, and they had to make it real, regardless of what people say. Now, Leo, it's time for you to have that same belief in yourself. All right, sorry, I'll stop preaching. Hierophant and the King of Pentacles outcome. Tell me about that for Leo. Hierophant and the King of Pentacles for, for Leo in the outcome. This is definitely not a weekly bonus. This feels like years, you know, in the making. Okay, Hierophant, and maybe it all starts in Virgo season. King of Swords reverse. Why the King of Swords reverse? That can go either way. It's lack of clarity, but it's also, it's lack of clarity. And it's, it's an organization and the two of wands, feeling like you don't know enough. That's where the fear stems. If this is about a relationship, you just feel like you're not enough. King of Swords reverse feels like they're not enough. That's why it's the narcissistic asshole card. I mean, honestly, because people who aren't feel like they're not enough and their ego gets blown up with an emperor reverse, you put those two gems together and you got people with low self-confidence belligerent other people to make themselves feel better. So I don't know where I went down that path, probably because the cards are here and I feel like some of you, that's where your confidence left you. Um, but this King of Swords reverse is somebody who, who stopped believing in themselves who doesn't see clear and the two of wands is over here trying to find a solution. You're trying to find answers in relationships that can't fix you. You're trying to find solutions in jobs that won't pay you really what you are worth. It's, it's wasting your time in situations that really aren't aligned to you. So the two of wands is to always feel like you need more information before you can actually get like this. What you need is get like this no matter what. This is about making a decision that you're not going back on and getting clear that nothing's going to keep you back. And look what's on his head. It's the star. This is the energy that's wish fulfillment. Tenacity, not giving up. King of Swords, either way, if he's stuck in a negative thought process or in a positive, he's not changing his mind. He's just, that's who he is, you know? And then you have a 201's reverse, no longer feeling like you want to waste any more time. The only way you're going to know is by doing, and that is exactly what the Six of Wands energy is about. Okay, one more, one more card, Leos. I'm sorry, you got things to do with on this Sunday. Okay, what's this King of Pentacles and the outcome for Leo? King of Pentacles and the outcome for Leo. What do they need to know? King of Pentacles. Well, there you go. Look at what came out. I mean, this is. Oh yeah. Don't let people steal your confidence. You know, a quick solution is you need a king of swords upright, queen of swords upright. You need to block this shit out of this. 
This is not what came out. I'll show you what came out. It flew out, but this is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you guys really... So the Five of Swords reverse, I think you've allowed people to manipulate you long enough for their own gain. Seven of Swords, they think they can just do it. That's just what they do. Okay, we don't need to give them any more time. This fell out. Those same people, stop, stop feeding them. Stop giving them energy and start focusing on you. This is where your happiness is, not in the Three of Cups reverse, not in trying to gain energies back that didn't believe in you, not trying to get, convince people why you, you are a good person to be with, or you know what I mean? This is, th these are backstabbing energies, and I feel like you constantly have given and given and given, and they're like, eh, I don't like it. They don't give back to you. It's like these are people who always say your, your solution to things are wrong, but they never offer anything. Yeah, three of cups reverse, backstabbing energies, and then this is where it's at, guys. Right here, you got the star. This is like a huge reading for, I don't know who this is honestly for. This is, somebody comes into your life. It's either in the, I think honestly it's through a relationship of some sort. And because this person truly sees your worth, you start to see your worth. When you started to believe people, when you started to believe people, and the reason why they kept you down is because they can't and they, you know, they can't have anyone out shining them or anything. So look at, yeah, so here we have this three of swords. This is where it's at. This is where it changes. All those old stories, let the pain change you. Don't just sit in it and feel it. Let it change you. Let it, go back to the basics with this three of pentacles. What is it that you put off doing for yourself that really could have got you that ten of pentacles, you know? So I do feel new love, but I think it's just so much more than that. I think this is you finding you. And I really don't even know what to title this reading. <laughs> Titling readings are so hard. And I think they're even harder on the bonus reads. I have no idea. But that's your reading. Sorry, I got so preachy, guys. Yeah, sorry. Oh, thank you, Harmony. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, doing TED Talks. I don't know if anyone want, want to hear this mouth. Um, yeah, thank you guys. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, I'm going to be doing tours here soon. I'm going to go up and um, I just, I've been down in the basement. I've, I've been down in the hole for a while. I got to go up and check on Harry. Now probably, what time is it? Let me look at my computer. Here. What time is it? 1.40? I'll probably, I'll probably do tours around 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I don't know where everybody else is at. So, oh, I'm glad you're here anyway. You're late. That's never late. You're here just in time. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I love doing the bonus reads, especially um, for, it's my thank you to you. There's a reason why you're getting a bonus read. It's because you support the channel. And you, you guys show up and the likes and the subscribes. And, you know, I just, I, I love you guys. I really do. I mean, it's like you might need a restraining order on me soon because I love you guys so much. So I just want you guys to believe in yourself. I want you to, you know, really there's this reading comes up and I think there's a reason why people come to tarot. It's because they, the only person that hasn't failed them is God. And some people feel like God failed them. It sucks to not get the family you're born, you, you deserve, you know, to be born with, but it doesn't mean like that's it, you know, then go, go create a family or create relationships that you never got cultivate that, you know, cultivate what you don't have. And that's where you break cycles and things like that. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you for showing up though, Candace. I'm glad you're here anyway. Thank you, of course, Martin. Uh, thank you, of course, Martin, for holding down the fort. Martin is the moderator there with Flair. He keeps us entertained and he hasn't muted me yet. He's only threatened to do it once. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you guys, I'm going to be doing Taurus. If any of you Taurians want to show up, it's probably about 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, which is about one hour and 15 minutes. If I do them too close, the stories run in together. So, but yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Leos, and have a great rest of your birthday season. But it's still your birthday season when we do your fire signs tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's a wrap for now, Martin. Thank you so much for showing up here and moderating. I do appreciate you so, so much. All right. See you guys in about one hour and 10 minutes. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.